are you? I'm also here with the Anson Police Department. Uh, Jack's personnel do not want you on the property anymore. They want you to leave the property. Never the was on their property. This is Jack's property. Right? Nope, this is a public easement, you dumb son of a bitch. Put a one in the chat if you agree with this auditor. He doesn't like those pigs. Neither do I. All right, watch your mouth. Stop cursing. Watch your mouth and stop cursing. Who the hell are these cops thinking they are? I don't have a freedom of speech. That's called disorderly conduct. No, it's not. Right then and there, you pull out your Fifth Amendment cop card and you say to that jackboot thug pig right here, number five, you tell the cop off vulgar language. Cop says he's going to charge you with this or with that. He just said disorderly conduct. He just made it up. You state while filming... My right to free speech is protected by the First Amendment. It's number five on the Fifth Amendment cop card. By two, I give you the third set for free because there's a driver and a non-driver card. This is the card you use if you're driving. This is the card you use if you're not driving. You only pull these out if you have to deal with a jackboot thug pig. That's why I made them such an awkward looking color. Goes in your wallet. You never pull them out unless you have a jackboot thug pig like this one right here on your shit. And then you pull out your Fifth Amendment a cop card and you wax his ass, baby. Yeah. You gonna be the plaintiff? I will. See the van story. Okay, then do it then. Actually, do it then. Do it then. Actually, do it then. I'm not even on their property. You are on Jack's property. I am not on their. Okay, so take a look right here. He's on grass right there, but there would be nowhere to walk down the road if he there wasn't grass to walk on. There has to be a public easement between the road and Jack's. Has to be property. There's the there, there's the road right there. There's the there's where the cars right there. You can see it. That's where the cars pull off with the breakdown on the side of the road. So he's standing right on the grass line right here. Arresting him for this would be a Fourth Amendment violation. It's unreasonable to arrest him for trespassing when you're on the line of a property where there's no fence and there's no stakes. Road, yeah, there's Jack. The Never on their property. What is your name and badge number? Hey, Tam. What is hey, your Tam. name and badge hey, number, you piece of shit? That's the last one. Hey. Lock whoa, me. whoa. Do not curse again. That's what that pig said. You piece of shit. That's the last one. Hey, lock me up then. Lock me up then. Lock me up. Watch your mouth is what that pig said. I put it on your cop card. Always use your camera like a ninja warrior. You recite what you see on the Fifth Amendment cop card. Then you show the card to the camera. Then you show it to the copper. And you tell him, cop loses qualified immunity. First Amendment upheld by the 1971 case of Cohen versus California. Cop loses his qualified immunity for questioning you further. You have to state the right that you are invoking, which is your First Amendment right to speech. My First Amendment right to speech is protected by the First Amendment, number five. This is how you do it. You know as well as I do. If you don't educate the pig, have the card, have the camera, you are going down. Then it's your word against the pigs. There was no literature. There was no video. You're going to jail. Do you think I'm on Jack's property? Yeah. Is this not a public easement where people can walk up and down the street? Yeah, so the grass is their property. He's standing on the very edge of the grass. And the trespass was solicited by the melanated pig. It doesn't matter whose property uh, is. Trespass from the Jack's Park line. If you refuse to leave, you will be arrested for trespasses. They, they cannot trespass him from the side of the road. That is such crap. Do not stand the road. Do not stand the road. So he went over to where the cars safely pull to the side if they break down, and he said, do not stand in the road. That makes no sense, though. Well, then I have to stand on the you fucking public. This is public. I'm not fighting. This is public. Man. I'm on a public easement. All you have to do is listen, man. I don't man. have to listen. You do. No, I don't. You're not above the law, No, man. I don't. I know I'm not above the law. Y'all ain't either. Make sure you get all, is y'all's uh, body on. cams on? They're always on. Okay, but here's the thing. You may not get that body camera footage. And the footage you get might be edited. The volume might be taken out. Video might be, oh, it got muffled there for some reason. It might just be cut out. That little section that you needed that showed he put the torture cuffs on too tight and it 
your skin was folded up inside of there and it looks gnarly. Didn't catch it on camera. Throughout this entire video, this gentleman never invoked his First Amendment right to be the press. He never said the words, I invoke my First Amendment right to be the press. He never said the words. When you get to the Supreme Court, when you get to federal court, your case may get dismissed because the clearly established prong. The clearly established prong says that the cop has to know what right of yours he's violating. If you didn't say, I invoke my First Amendment right to be press, as far as the cop knew, you were just someone who was interfering. You have to say the words, I invoke my First Amendment right. When the cop comes up and says, hey, where are you coming from? You have to say, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. You have to say those words. This is not me, not Chile De Castro here telling you, you have to do it because I said so. No, the Supreme Court elected by who? By nobody. They're appointed by the most elites of the elites, the richest of the rich appoints the Supreme Court. You get the illusion that you chose the president who appointed those monarchs, those nine black robe tyrants. The Supreme Court's not your friend. They refer to our civil liberties, God-given rights at birth, as privileges. You have to invoke the privilege that God gave you at birth. You have to invoke it for this government to recognize that their officer should have known better to go around their qualified immunity. If you don't say, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right, and you continue to say, I don't answer questions, he could say, where are you heading? Well, what time are you going to be there? Well, where were you at yesterday? Where are you staying at? Is that your girlfriend? All those questions come to an end when you you say the words, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. It's the main staple on the trifold. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Don't ask me where I'm coming from, where I'm going, where I've been, if I've been drinking, if I have a gun. I will take no tests, no searches or seizures. Use the address on my ID. I'll give no additional information. Everything I need to give by law is provided in the slip below. That's how you do it. He never invoked his privilege of being the press. He never said, I invoke my First Amendment right to be press. Let me see. Uh, Jack's personnel do not want you on the property anymore. They want you to leave the property. Never. I invoke my First Amendment right to be press. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. It was on their property. This is Jack's property. No, right? this is a At that point, you may decide to question the officer. Officer, can you show me where Jack's property line ends and the public easement between the road and the property line? You're filming everything. Ask the question. I have a freedom of speech. Now, he said, I don't have a freedom of speech. What do you say instead? Number five on your Fifth Amendment non-driver cop card. Upheld, 1971, Cohen versus California. I have free speech. It's right there on your Fifth Amendment cop card. You just recite the case law on camera. That's called disorderly conduct. No, it's not. It Are is. you going to be the plaintiff? I will. See the answer. The okay, then do it then. Answer. No, you don't say that. You literally read the card in front of you. It says First Amendment, 1971, Cohen versus California. Cop loses qualified immunity for arresting you. You read what's on the card word for word verbatim. Do it problem. then. Actually do problem. it then. Actually do it then. I'm not even on their property. You are on Jack's property. I am not on their property. You don't sit there and argue back and forth with a jackboot thug pig. You first invoke your First Amendment right. You invoke your Fourth and your Fifth Amendment right. And then you question him. What's your name and badge number? Where's the property line then? Where's the end of the property line? Show me where to put my feet that's off of Jack's property line and still not in the road. What's your name and badge number? Where's your supervisor? Can I get your supervisor here, please? You take control by first stating that you invoke your rights and then next putting him on defense by you questioning him. How long have you been an officer for? Do you understand my First Amendment right? Do you understand my Fourth Amendment right? Do you understand my Fifth Amendment right? I might just sit there and pepper him with questions. Depends on how I'm feeling. Do I want to spank him or do I just want to get through this encounter and have as little to do with this pig as possible? If I want to spank his ass, I'll sit there and ask him, why'd you sign up to be a pig? He has to deal with me. He's decided that I'm detained. Okay, fine. How long have you been a pig for? Do you beat your wife and kids like 40% of the other pigs? That number's a little higher than 40%, I'm gonna bet. He has to answer your questions. I, I don't advise you go quite as hard as I do, but I'm not afraid of being arrested. I'm not afraid of these jackboot thug pigs one single bit.